This is an extractor slash sprayer slash uh, mixer to spread the uh, inoculant or the extract from compost. You can make extract with it, you can spray with it. Uh, it's just made out of a 55 gallon drum. And you have, it's best if you have the ones with the removable top so you can clean the inside out. Also just a five gallon bucket hooked to the top of the, the drum uh, with an inch and a half bulkhead fitting. And then a, another one inch bulkhead fitting with a uh, flexible PVC pipe that goes into kind of a manifold. It allows you to do two things. It allows you to circulate the uh, fluid back and forth between the pump and the drum. It also allows you to pressure the system up so that you can spray either with a boom like this or with a hose or it makes it easy to pump it from one tank to another. Uh, like if you're gonna supply a tractor that has an injection system on it. Uh, it's pretty simple, just a valve coming out of a 55 gallon drum. And then that hose is the intake for the pump. Uh, that's your suction side. Your pressure side, as I say, has that valve in there. You can move that valve and you can get this up to about 50 PSI pressure once you, you close the system. Uh, and then you just go out with another valve here. It's just a standard agricultural uh, water pump. Uh, use the unistrut in the bed to hold it all in place, elevate the drum and slope it. As you can see here, So it all actually bolts down to the bed of the truck here, so it's not going to move on you. And then you can anchor everything else. This part here is removable. So, and also you made it where we can close the gate and transport it. Uh, it's a pretty simple system. On the five gallon pail up here, it's, it has a really fine screen in it, uh, a paint screen. You see I have it strapped to the sides there so it doesn't go into the bottom. It's really easy to put a slurry of the uh, compost in there and you get just take a hose and keep recirculating uh, and spraying it and you swish it with your hand in a circular motion to to help clean the sides of that screen and, and have the extract go through and it's, it's continually recirculated in that drum so you just keep building up more and more biology. But it's a a pretty simple system. You just, as I say, take a slurry of the compost mix and put it in there and spray it and swirl it with your hand uh, like a vortex. And that pushes the water through and then eventually you, you get a uh, just the leftover, uh, the rough parts of the compost, those that didn't biodegrade. But a very simple system. Uh, not too much money involved in putting it together. I hope this is enough images to let you see how this is done and how you might do it in the future. It doesn't take long to make the extract. Uh, it's about a, a minute per acre when you're spreading this out. It's about, uh, about two pounds per acre of compost. A relatively thick a mixture that you can dilute in the tank on the tractor or you can mix it to what uh, application you want and then spray it on the field. It only takes about 10 minutes to do two acres with this rig. When preparing to make the extract you need to use compost either from a Johnson Sioux bioreactor or a vermicompost from a reputable dealer. I take about 10 pounds of compost per bucket. Now, a full bucket of this compost compressed a little bit will weigh about 30 pounds, so about a third of a bucket. You want to add a little water to each so that you, when you mix it up, uh, you're, you're making a slurry. You're trying to uh, knock off as many microbes off the, the coarse material as you can. 
can see just use a paddle bit or a paddle stirrer and just mix it for a couple of few seconds just to, to kind of mix it up so when you put it in the extractor you're able to get more microbes off of the material when you're done with that you can start your pump you have your hose hooked up with a sprayer so you use that sprayer to help knock the microbes off that uh, the rough the coarse material in the compost you'll have a bucket of extract or of um, excuse me of uh, slurry there and you'll be spraying into a bucket it, this bucket has a paint strainer on it so you don't get any large particles through so you can put this through uh, injectors or a spray. You take a little bit of the slurry, about two or three uh, scoops, and then what you're doing is you're using that water stream to knock those microbes off. When you're doing it, you need to stir it with your hand in a circular motion. That helps uh, dislodge those particles from that, that screen and, and help you push the microbes through there a lot more efficiently. You do this over and over. I usually do about um, 30 pounds per 40 gallons here and then when I'm done we will mix that in another tank to get the uh, desired volume for applying it on the field. We usually put it on about 20 gallons per acre. Uh, this is most injectors on equipment will accommodate that. Here you can hook up to this unit to transfer that concentrate to a holding tank on the planter. Once you transfer that in, then you add enough water to get it to the uh, dilution rate that you want for injection. And this is what it would look like. This is about the injection rate, uh, what it looks like. It's about, uh, as I was saying, 20 gallons per acre. This is what the extract would look like. And you end up putting about 6 million uh, bacteria uh, and fungi per square foot at this kind of rate. Uh, I think on this field we're putting it down at 2 pounds per acre. And you can see that uh, this is a corn planter and it has a, has a fertilizer injector on it and we just use that system to uh, inject the microbes in behind the planter wheel so it falls into the furrow and coats the seed as it goes. You can see the planter does a very good job of spreading. This is a no-till situation does a very good job of spreading the material before it inserts the seed into the soil and then injects the liquid.